Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial as I promised in the end of the last tutorial we are going to learn about the basic drawing tools. Uh, if you hit the M key on the keyboard or come here to this tool which says rectangular tool and select it then you can start making rectangular and square and all those shapes that are four corners. Okay now to draw a shape with this there are a couple of ways the first way is just to click once on from the mouse and this window appears in which if you have uh, a set parameters in your mind you know for for example for the height and the width of your square or the rectangular that you want to make then you should enter those numbers here of course you can change the parts whether you want to inches uh, centimeters meters how big you want this picture to be you want it to create a you know post or something for a billboard or for a magazine or stuff you know those things can be set you know the parts that how much space or length they represent and with that they represent in the edit and preferences area i'm not gonna tell you this i'm just gonna tell you how you can uh, create a rectangular with a bound with a box or with the return dimensions so now our box is being created you can create as many as you like with this method the other method is if you click and drag then you can make and adjust its parts using the mouse and looking at them for example like this okay now look at this if when i drag sometimes there appear this pink line between them now when the pink line appears it tells me that the height and the width as you can see in the small uh, infographic that uh, is with it on the lower line it says that the width and the height are about 179 parts that means they are proportional to each other so this is a good indicator or if you want to make a proportional square box the other way to make a square box is if no matter your mouse is here or here or wherever it is is to hold down the a shift key once you hold down the shift key then it's uh, always going to be proportional then you do not need to the guide of the pink uh, you know line to decide whether it's proportional or not okay like this so that's how you can draw uh, shapes with the rectangular tool the other tool is the uh, rounded edges uh, in rectangular it's the same thing but there is a, this extra uh, feature given in which you can you know increase and make its shape a little bit oval and uh, it's make its edges smooth and stuff like that that's what it is for like that okay as you can see we are already creating a beautiful you know shape in here one thing that i forgot to mention if it's a rounded rectangular or if it's a rectangular or if any other tool if you hold down the alt key and then draw then it draws from the center outward without the alt key it draws from one side to the other side but with the alt key it draws from the center outward like this i hope you understand the difference between that the other tool we got is the ellipse tool the shortcut keyboard for it is l and it draws ellipses and circles with it if you hold down the square a uh, shift key then it always becomes a circle because its proportions are then you know fixed but if you don't want to draw a circle then don't hold down the uh, shift key and the same thing if you hold down the alt key then it draws a circle outward towards uh, uh, away from the center you know its lines its diameter will, or the center will be in the middle uh, middle stuff like that okay so let's enough with that the other thing is the polygon tool now this tool is a little special because you can do more than just draw a polygon with it and you are not just limited to the set polygon that it is available with it you can increase and decrease the number of the edges that are in there for example you want a pentagon hexagon you know four colors triangle it cannot go beyond triangle because then it will start to look like a line okay but you can go increasing it on the other side as much as you want for example if you want something to be this big or something like stuff like that and we're going to make another one like this okay 
now let me make a circle and then okay, this is the I'm gonna hold down the alt key and may hold the shift key also to make a perfect circle. I want to show you something about the star or the next tool of ours. After the polygon code, there is the star code tool, and I'm gonna draw from the center and hold the uh, alt key so it draws outwards. Okay, you can also increase and decrease the number of the stars. I'm gonna make it the five stars first of all. As I increase, as you can see, when the arms reaches the circle, you know, I want to tell you something. This is called the outer radius of the star. If the lower parts of the arms, you know, like this, they reaches this area, the circle, you know, this part is called the inner circle. This is the inner radius, this is the outer radius. You should keep this in mind. Now, let me draw another star like this. And when I hold down the shift key with it, of course, you can extend the proportion. Now, this star outer radius is touching the circle, and this star inner circle uh, radius is touching the you know uh, the circle. With these anchor points, if you go to your target selecting tool, you can of course uh, make and bend and smooth out its you know uh, edges or you can increase and decrease their size and stuff like that you can even increase or decrease it even more and stuff like that of course if you come back you can increase and decrease the number of arms by using the up and down keys on the keyboard like this you know if you increase it too much it starts to look like a sun and you might need that if you want it of course you can create it very easily with it so by using these uh, simple basic drawing tools we can create a very beautiful and really uh, uh, unique you know style and look and illustration and of course these are amendable and changeable at any time that you want them to be changed and then to be brought into your you know project or used with something else uh, it depends on your choice so now you know how to use them and where they are uh, i take my leave from you guys for this tutorial and hope that you liked it and learned something i will see you in the next tutorial until the next tutorial goodbye